By this point in time, you've probably already heard this from many, many other people, but I also wanted to tell you guys as well that I am here, and I have also heard that anime fighters simulator is coming back. And guys, I have a ton of mixed emotions as to how I feel about this uh, anime fighter simulator coming back. First and foremost, congrats to the boss for getting the game. That's like a huge, in my opinion, it's a huge conquisition acquirement of a really big game. This game has over a billion visits. If you guys don't remember anime fighter simulator, it's actually how I started my channel with its like massive anime growth. If you guys know what I mean, I like worked my channel for about two and a half years playing random simulator games and stuff on Roblox and everything did well, you know, the channel was growing really, really slow, but at least it was growing, I was super grateful for everything. Bubblegum sim, unboxing sim, so many other sims, but then, AFS was released and you guys have been amazing you've been supporting me since then and I've been playing AFS and you know trying to be as helpful and formative showcasing everything that I can and of course seeing a lot of live streams and so on and so forth now with this new information that anime fighter simulator is coming back I I'm really excited don't get me wrong I am super excited it gives me more content lets me play more games with you guys there's just a lot more stuff to do the only issue is I have anime fighters and later on my main account I have anime adventures on my main account and I have anime warrior simulator 2 on my main account so there's too many games that I gotta play so I won't be able to afk everything which that means I just won't be able to be the best and everything, but I'll still try to you know, be the best and showcase everything that I can for you guys. So that's really exciting. Now you're probably asking Toad, when's the release date? I uh, I have no idea when the game's getting released. What I do know is that Anime Fighters and Later is coming out next month in July. Um, other than that, I don't know what date specifically. I'm assuming very, very early on in the year, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and give you guys some of the codes that are currently available in the Fighter Simulator so you can start playing, getting back to where you were in the game. As you guys can see, I have 4,000, almost 400 hours in this game alone, okay? Almost 4,400 hours of my life have been spent playing anime, anime Fighter Simulator. I have a ton of the rewards right here. I, I just spent a lot of time on this game, okay guys? But first and foremost, here's the code that you guys can use real quick. Let me go really, really fast. It's a billion visits, if this is still working. Yet yeah, code billion visits is working. That's crazy, I wasn't expecting that. The abyss, like this, the abyss is a code you guys can use. I've already redeemed that code. Insane one million is another code you guys can use for a million likes that the game got. World at War is another code. There you go. Oh, that gives you guys a ton of rerolls. A golden token. I'm trying to figure out what those are for. Bronze Peace underscore. There you go. If you guys did not already know, this update is not, or this, I guess, the return of Anime Fighter Simulator 2 is not affiliated with Bronze Peace or Dyra. That's the boss. So. It might be a little bit different, but it seems like they're going to leave the game kind of the same way it is, and they're just going to keep adding new updates, such as a Hell's Paradise update and a, uh, oh gosh, what was it? Wano arc for One Piece. So there's a lot of cool, exciting stuff coming out, including a similar update, a new, like, way to ease your clothes or whatever, Sully 1M, and then of course, guys, if you did not know, I actually have a Toad Boy code in this game as well. Yes, I'm telling you guys, this was a huge gain for me. Use code Toad Boy for 10 minute luck boost, and then the last code I see is Soul Academy. So these are some of the codes you guys can use right there if you're just starting on AFS. Now, Toad, I've never played Anime Fighter Simulator, but I have played Anime War Simulator, or I haven't even played Anime War Simulator. Let me show you how to play the game. So there's this first island right here called Super Island. You're gonna come here and you're gonna just click and attack this boss. For example, I'm gonna equip my weakest fighter, which is gonna be the secret unit from the egg. Yep, this is the secret pinky. It's Boo from Dragon Ball Z right here. And you'll have your fighter attack the armored force. Now, I've paid to win, of course, in this game. Duh, it's so boy pays. I have all the game passes, so I'm really OP when it comes to that. I've got the luck boost, I got two times yen, two times luck. Now, if you're gonna start playing Anime Fighters and later again, and you don't have any game passes, these are the game passes I suggest you guys get. Plus three, fighters equipped, yes. Two times yen, yes. Two times XP, depends on how much Robux you have. Regular luck, yes. Super lucky, once again, depends on how much Rolex you have, and Ultra Lucky, same thing. That's if you're really willing to spend all your Rolex in the game passes. Small backpack, eh. Big backpack, yes. 
VIP, yes. You got fast open, yes. Multi open, yes. Teleport, mm, you don't need it, but yes. And then you're gonna need the magnet and then sprint. Everything else you kinda don't need. The half cooldown is really nice and so on and so forth. Two times drop is nice, but those are the game passes that you need if you're gonna get really, really good in AFS. Now I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you're gonna start playing, start playing now. There's a bunch of events going on in the bottom right as you stream right here. As you can see, three times time, three times XP, three plus luck, three times alien, three times yen, and three times drop event. So if you're trying to catch strong and catch up, right now is the time to play. Now, as you guys can see, I have a ton of stuff thanks to like Liam and some other people who gave me stuff on the Discord server. But look, you've got yourself some coins. You're gonna go to the egg. You're gonna go open. I can open 13 because I've done a ton of things in this game, a ton of achievements. You know, there are some good Papa Russo kind of achievements that give me a ton of rewards. But you're gonna open these hatch every single unit. I am auto deleting them right now. You can auto sell, auto delete, auto lock. Everything's in the settings. There's a lot of stuff that you're gonna have to explore yourself because it's really hard to actually explain everything. But here it is. You can auto sell, auto delete. I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these. You guys can see, look, I got a ton of shinies because I have a shiny potion going on. But you got a shiny krill or gohan. Shiny Master Roshi, if you guys remember, I did a Shiny Master Roshi challenge, which is kind of cool, and a Shiny Goku, and look at that. All the shiny units have like little cool cosmetics, except for Pinky for some reason, I don't know why. And then here they are, I can go ahead and turn my fighter's effects on. So let's see here, uh, my fighter's effects are on, everyone, oh, I need to get rid of Ultimate Heck Guy, actually, he's a little bit too strong. Uh, uh, Ultimate Heck is a little too strong, and then let's have him attack right here, and look at these attack. Oh. You know what, I'm gonna have to go to a little bit of a higher area. Slayer Army, look, the effect animations in AFS are top tier. Compared to MDW Wars, MD Wars in Later 2, I'd say AFS had cooler effects, but MD Wars in Later has two, in Later 2 has better looking character models and everything. But still, look at the cool effects you got here. You got that right there from Yamcha. There is Boo's attack. He's just spinning around doing his bombs. People are doing their like big bang kamehameha's, they're punching, they're scratching, they're they're really cool, okay? Really cool attacks here, and this is just from the first world. Anyways, go back to that first world, get better eggs, and keep unlocking the new worlds. As you guys can see, there is a max open button, and if I were to max open right now, I hatch a ton of shiny mythicals. That's because I have a ton of extra luck, I have a luck boost going, and I have a shiny boost potion right now. So that's why I got that, guys. You're not going to be guaranteed to get those almost whatsoever, honestly. It's very hard to actually get that. But what you'll do is you'll select all, you'll fuse it into your units, and you'll get them to start leveling up. And you're going to keep doing that, the same thing for every world. Now, I suggest once you're able to unlock a new world, you move on to the new world. Don't need to stay here in this world trying to unlock the secret. You can always come back and unlock the secrets from this world. The same thing would be said for the quests in this world. Um, you kind of do this in Anime Wars and later already where you can kind of just skip the quests, but I suggest you skip the quest for now until you are able to, uh, until you're able to clear the quest extremely easily. Unless you're in the last world and you kind of want to do it, just do it, whatever. But you talk to Bone like she gives you quests and the quests give you mounts and like yen and stuff like that. So that's what you're going to want to keep doing. Do the quests, unlock new worlds, get new mounts. Like, look at how cool this mount is. It's so cool. It's so shiny. Like. That, that's what AFS was doing right. They did everything right in terms of the characters and the models until the shutdown and they changed a lot of things. I was kind of upset with that. But yeah, very cool models, very cool characters. AFS is coming back, which is really, really exciting. Like I said, I'm scared, I'm worried because I do play Anime Wars Simulator 2. I play Anime Fighters, I play Anime Adventures. Anime Champion Simulator Dyra's actual new game is also going to be coming out within the next month or two. So there's just a lot of stuff that I got to do with the next upcoming updates but you get your units once you get your units you go let's see here so world three has a defense these defense tokens are how you are going to uh where is the defense thing actually huh i could have sworn it said it was here oh no this is a crafting machine no wait 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 am i blind hold on teleport there should be a 
huh? Hold on, what? Oh, here it is. These defense things right here is how you're gonna get the tokens for max opening. You're gonna have to keep doing that. As you can see, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, Cursed High, there's one at Lucky Kingdom. There's a lot as you go along. The higher the rarity or the rooms, the more rewards, but also the higher the difficulty. So make sure that if you're doing the higher rooms, you have some friends to do it with you because it's really hard. Then on World 4 over here, you have Fruit Island. With Fruit Island, you can make your units shiny and unshiny. There's also an appraisal machine here. So appraising is really interesting. It actually sees how good your unit is. I went ahead and made my Luffy perfect, but as you guys can see, he's amazing. Some of the other units that I just got, like let's look at this Ultimate Hekka, not so much. So it's kind of the stat potential of anime adventures, one through 10, 10 being the highest. There's a one through 20 later on in AFS, but you'll have to get there as you unlock the worlds. Then one of the most important islands you're gonna have to get to is this right here, which is the My Hero Academia, where you can unlock passives. You get passive reroll tokens from doing the dungeons, which I'll show you guys in a second, but select here, select your unit, you can do tokens or shards. I would probably suggest you do tokens if you have a ton of them. And oh my gosh, what? Not bad, we got a tank pass. If you look at the index here, here's all the details with everything you can get from these. This fighter always lands a critical, plus 5% luck. This fighter's like a ghost, then blah, 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 blah. Yep, rerolls are very important. You get them, like I said, from over here, the challenger hub. These are all the dungeons from AFS. They do take a lot of time, but once you complete them, you get awards and achievements, and it's just worth doing them at the end of the day. Also, that was a sick shot. Look at this. Yo, that's a pretty cool shot, if I do say so myself. Anime Fighters also has incubator machines. They go and level up your unit to the maximum level. 187 is the highest level I can get the machine to. And if I go ahead and put, let's say, my Clarence Sunny in there and incubate, It'll tell me, look, it got a level, it got a level, and it's leveling up pretty quickly, but the max level is 375, I think, so it'll take quite a little bit for her to actually get to 375. I know it's going really quick, but there's a three times event luck, and I have like a half time off. Yeah, it's it's gonna take a little while until she hits that max level. Chimera Jungle has the shining machine where you like pick a fighter, so let's go ahead and say, my, hmm, who am I gonna make shiny here? I think I'm gonna go ahead and select this Dragon King right here, which is Kaido. Select Dragon King, and then I use fruits to make him shiny. I can go ahead and put 20 fruits. There's a 64% chance he'll be successful. 40 will get me 87, and if I put 58 fruits, it's a 95% chance to make it. If I fail this, I'm actually gonna cry because it means my luck is terrible in AFS still. Um, but what did we get from that? We did it, we craft a shiny Kaido. And once you guys craft yourself a shiny Kaido, there's actually an area right here in the icy wastes where you can go and limit break your unit. Limit breaking, which you'll need three of the same shiny units. I don't have three shiny Kaidos right now, I'll still have to work on them. But once you limit break the other shiny units, you see this Kaido right here, he has two passives, which is what limit breaking does. You get passive, passive, makes your unit a lot stronger. It's necessary if you're gonna go ahead and try to become extremely OP in Anime Fighter Simulator. Uh, last thing to know, I guess, is that there's another limit breaker machine here in this world. Uh, it's near the end. It's gonna take you guys quite some time to get here. Unless they leave like the events up, then it'll be somewhat easy. But then finally, 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 the last, last machine you guys need to know about is this Requiem passive machine. It requires special tokens, or uh, in my case here, it'll require shards, and you select the unit that you wanna use the Requiem on. As you guys can see, 26 purple tokens or shards. I'm gonna use a token and reroll. There is a higher chance you're gonna get the mythical passes from this machine than the other machine on World 4. So this is a late, late, late game item. But once you're here, it's nice to know that it's here because look at that. Oh, we were so close to getting mercenary that we got tank on our Yami Yugi, which is signed. I'm not upset. We'll keep rolling a few more times here. What can I get? Mm. <laughs> 
And there it is. We got ourselves a mythical passive. It took us 22 rolls, which is quite a lot, but it would probably take you like 500 rolls on a regular machine. But yes, guys, those are some of the most important things you need to do. Uh, one more thing you have to do every single day if you're going to play AFS is this right here. Guys, I'm telling you, there's a lot to do. This right here, the dungeon, you can do this once a day for free, I think. And uh, yeah, you're going to want to do that. You're going to get a lot of drops. Um, some of those drops include the artifact drops here, which you guys will see as you guys do it. Um, you got to upgrade them, gives you a drop bonus, or there's other artifacts you guys can craft that all do different things, but there's just so much to do. I'm just really excited that AFS is coming back. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you think of the fact that AFS is coming back. If you want to see Toad do live streams and do carries and all that stuff on AFS, just like the good old days, let me know. I know we got a lot to grind on in AA. This has to be like, this is going to take a lot of time for us to grind. Anime Warriors is having an update next week. There's just so much coming out, but I hope you guys are excited. I'll be here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go to see this. I got to go do something. But that's it. I'll see you guys later. Reason thesis. Bye.